question on the Middle East, but just a quick follow-up on what Congressman Turner said. Is there anything you can say to characterize what this threat is or what country it involves? I mean, should the public be alarmed at this point since he has said this publicly? I'm not in a position to say anything further today. Like I said, I look forward to the discussion with him, and obviously from there we will determine how to proceed. But standing here at the podium today, I, I can't share anything further. And, um, my question on uh, the situation in the Middle East, um, as you were pushing for this weeks-long humanitarian pause and hostages release, um, does the U.S. expect that Israel would pick up its military operation once that temporary pause in fighting is over, or is the expectation or maybe even the hope that that temporary pause would turn into a permanent pause and effectively an end in the war? Well, what the President said earlier this week when he was uh, standing with King Abdullah after their meeting is that we're looking for a temporary pause as part of a hostage deal, and then to build on that into something more enduring. What that looks like exactly, on what parameters, uh, where Hamas fits into that, all of the other pieces, that's things that we're going to have to work through with our partners in Israel and with others. But the goal would be to start with a temporary pause and see what we can build from there. But not have the fighting resume after that temporary pause. Is that right? Well, and that is the goal. The, the right. idea is that you have multiple phases as part of the hostage deal, and you try to move from one phase to the next so that an initial period of pause can be extended as uh, more hostages come out, more commitments are made, and so forth. Where that goes exactly, I can't predict today. What we would like to see, what the President also said in his remarks, is that Hamas is ultimately defeated, that peace and security come to Gaza and to Israel, and that we then work towards the longer-term issues related to a two-state solution with Israel's security guaranteed. But it all begins by trying to get that uh, pause in hostilities for a certain period of time, and then that opens the potential options for where things can go from there without prejudging anything because this is a dynamic situation and we'll have to stay in very close consultation with the Israelis to ensure that their interests, their security is continuing to be protected in all of this. Yeah.